Amen. Let's all stand. Welcome to the evening sacrifice on Monday night. Lord, we just thank you, God, uh, for the privilege of coming before Jesus. Thank you that the fire of God comes on our worship and uh, in the midst of our praises. Thank you for delivering us from evil. Tonight, I just pray for special breakthroughs for whoever came looking for one. And people that need a word from heaven, pray words from heaven would come. I pray you would speak to your people. You'd encourage them in every way. The lovely presence of Jesus, I want you to know, Lord, you're so very, very welcome here. Amen. Your blood covers my frame. You pass over, love remains. We gather around the feast of the Lamb. You sat like nothing else can we are yours forever we are yours we are yours we are yours forever we are yours your
are yours. We are yours. We are yours forever. We are yours. We are yours forever. We are yours. We are yours. We are yours.
forget to love you in return. Just thank you for your love. Thank you for sending your son. I'm not going to hold anything back.
thank you for meeting us here tonight, Jesus. Thank you for being closer than the air we breathe tonight, Jesus.
gladness fill my soul. Jesus, you're my greatest thought. God, I know. I see the light. I see the lightning. I hear your voice. Inside the cracking thunder, singing, nothing stands between us. Oh, nothing stands between us. Love now. Nothing stands between us, oh, nothing stands between us, but love. The river of gladness take control. Jesus, your God, I know. I see the light. I see the light. I hear your voice inside the cracking thunder singing. Nothing stands between us, oh, nothing stands between us but love now. Nothing stands between us, oh, nothing stands between us but love
God is with me. Oh, in many my God is with me.
only one name that is worthy there's only one king on the throne he is the light of our salvation all praise belongs to him alone there's only one way to the Father, one love that melts a heart of stone. He is the life and resurrection. All praise belongs to Him alone. And look to the See the Son of God, the Savior crucified. And see the crown of thorns, the nails, his wounded son. He is worthy. Look to the Lamb. See the one who is forever glorified. His love and there is fire in his eyes, and he is worthy. He is worthy. He is the Alpha and Omega. He was and is and is to come. Turn to shouts of glory. His name is Jesus Christ, our God. It's His name. His name is Jesus Christ, our God. We look to the Lamb. We see the Son of God, the Savior crucified.
creatures cry, saints and angels glorify. The anthem echoes day and night, worthy. Eyes like fire, hair like wool, voice like many waters roar. Matchless and most beautiful, worthy. Elders bow, the creatures cry, saints and angels glorify, the anthem echoes day and night, worthy. And eyes like fire, hair like coal, voice like many waters roar, passionless and most
Okay, just keep going. Don't tell a story, and I think it's happening right now. So if you need healing of any kind, I encourage you to just come up in the front right now. Just come up here. And whatever you do, just worship with all your heart. I had this happen to me. Uh, I, I've been sick for a few days, and I got Kent to take my place in speaking. And uh, so I'm watching this live stream, and I'm thinking, 
you know what? I could be sick here or I could be sick there. So I decided to come in. I just got in my car. I just drove over, you know, just and drove here. And I'll tell you, it was so amazing. Because I was here just a little while and I'm listening to the worship. And so I was going to hear the worship and lift whatever was on me was lifted. And, and uh, I'm still battling a little bit, but I could feel the the heaviness, the sense of uh, oppression. Because I knew it was uh, maybe sometimes sickness has a mixture and it has a mixture of healing that's needed in your body, but there's an oppression from, uh, from hell. Can I just say that again? Sometimes hell tries to make you sick. It's, it's, it's not just little bacteria de delios it's, or viruses. It's, it's the pit of hell. And... Uh, I felt like uh, just having had that experience, I was so shocked. I, I haven't been the same since uh, last Sunday morning when I came here. I just, the thing, it's like a cloud lifted, but it was more than that. I could physically feel the oppression on me. I just think we should ask Jesus to lift the oppression off anybody that's sick in their body. And I'm not even talking about some temporary thing. I'm talking about things that have been with you for a long time, issues in your body. Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus, we just continue to sing a little bit. I pray the power of God would rest on everybody standing. Lord, Lord as they're just standing there in faith, I pray you would break the heavy yoke, the combination of depression, confusion, the combination of, of just a sense of brokenness and the pain, even the physical pain. Lord, I pray as we just sing here for a little while longer, as you've been doing this, I just... I just pray you would break the heavy yoke in Jesus' name. I pray you would break the heavy yoke in Jesus' name. By heavy yoke, I mean obviously severity of circumstance, but it may be, be a yoke that you've worn way too long. Maybe it's been for months and years, maybe even. Maybe it's been something you've been battling. Lord, I pray as we worship now, just continue to worship for a little while longer. Lord, I pray you continue to break the heavy yoke off of people. Depression and heaviness break. Literal physical pain, emotional pain, and physical pain. Pain in the belly, pain in your limbs. May the heat of Jesus just come in, rescue you. Cancers, in the name of Jesus, I just speak to you. Leave now. Those that have been afflicted with special conditions. Biochemical conditions in your body of any kind. Lord, right, move the recipe around, Lord. Just put the right combinations. Whatever we're lacking, supply, Lord, in Jesus' name. Whatever is missing, bring. And whatever shouldn't be there, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Every virus, every bacteria, everything that's attacking us, mental, spiritual, physical, Lord, let there be a sound of joy in this place, a sound of healing right now as we just continue to worship for a little while. As we just sing whatever they got, sing. Just sing with all your heart. Ask God to break the heavy yoke off of you.
right here in front of me It's the breath inside my lungs You're the breath inside our lungs You're the air we're breathing in You're the air we're breathing in Lord, and for those on the live stream too, heal, Lord. If you're watching on the live stream, just put your hand on your chest maybe, and just... Uh, Unless you're driving. <laughs> Might want to be careful about that one. Lord, healing, just go right through to anyone watching on the live stream. I just declare you're here. I don't care what time of the day you're watching. May the Lord bless you. I, I think there's a river flowing through here. We just thank you for the river, Lord. The river of God. So uh, I'd like us to get ready to receive in a different way. And uh, just if a musician could hold with me just a second, just whatever that sound you're doing right there, that's good. Just hold me with me just for a second longer here before you make a transition. Maybe we won't make a transition, I don't know. But what I'd like to do is um, sometimes uh, we're in worship. It's like, I've heard people say, talk about the glory cloud, meaning that sometimes in history there have been actual clouds, actual visible Shekinah glory clouds uh, that you could see along with the worship and in the air. You could see it with your eyes, right? That's happened in history every once in a while. I don't think you have to see it with your eyes to have that Shekinah glow. I just feel a, a glow around the room. So whenever I, I feel the presence of the glow, it's like you're in it and all of us are intertwined with the glory, the glory of God, the glow of God, the Spirit of God. And so it's like if you're in that space, all you got to do is reach out and touch God for what you need. Just grab it, right? Because the issue isn't us, the issue is His presence and and we are a part of that as we just ask God to come. But if we just move in and out of the presence, we can sometimes identify. Uh, matter of fact, even, I don't know how this works exactly, but cause what wasn't there before just to come from the cloud into people's lives. I know it sounds weird, but I mean, that's prophecy basically. But, but it's the fourth telling of God, something God's moving. It's like his hand's moving all over the room, and we just declare things. Things that are not as though they were, right? And ask God to do something. And of course, we see this all through the scriptures of the prophets, and they would say something, and this would happen, and they would say that. And we have been given the mighty spirit of God, and we actually work with the Lord. He uses us to bring the eternal gospel, right? It's from our lips. God doesn't thunder very much out of heaven and just speak out loud and people get saved. He uses our voice and then people get saved. Now, I think that's the most important thing that anybody could get, isn't it? So what about the other things? wonder if we speak other things. What if we speak other things? You know, at the unction of the Spirit and things begin to happen, right? If salvation can come from my, my recitation of the Bible message, then why couldn't the other things in the Bible come forward as I declare them because God is all of these things we just got to declare which things he is he's the healer Lord isn't that right he's our healer he's our deliverer mighty savior eternal God all these names but I like those words so I want to just get into some proclamation mode for a moment you can be seated if you like if you're in the under the anointing you might I wouldn't leave I would just stay here but uh if you're under the anointing of the Lord, just stay right where you are. Don't move. If you can feel the presence of the Lord. And so what I'd like to do is, uh, before we transition out of the live stream, and we can just continue the music just a little bit, I would like to declare some things over the room, right? And if that's you, what I'd like you to do as an act of your faith, I'd like you to stand up as an act of your faith, okay? And we're, and you can just stay up here if you like. It doesn't matter. We're not, we're not in a hurry. All right? So I'm just going to give 
some words that I think the Lord might be creating. And if I could have Trisha and some of her prophetic team, or Trisha, if you'd like to just come up, whatever you like. If you have a word like this for maybe the room. So we're just going to speak things just at the unction of the Holy Spirit that we think the Lord might want to be doing tonight. It might be reality. It might not be in healing. It might be some other great thing, right? And uh, so, Lord, we just thank you for the privilege of just speaking out of that prophetic voice. Uh, God's voice is always so creative, right? We always think of it as the law, you know, the voice of God comes, right? But I, I think the, the better way to say the voice of God, or a good way to say it, is it's also creative. He always creates with his voice things that were not as though they were, right? Okay. So I'm just going to mention a couple of them, and if it's you, uh, you might want to make sure you stand up in faith for it, okay? I, I believe uh, uh, one of the things the Lord's doing over the room is he's causing, uh, I could see uh, people's lower backs. So like right at the tail in the lower, lower part of the back, and uh, maybe this is freedom night for everybody with lower back injuries or lower back problems. So if that's you, would you please uh, stand and uh, Lord sees. And I'm just going to move quickly. So as I move through these, uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I just release healing anointing. Now, as I'm doing this with regard to lower backs, I'll get to other things as well. But if I were you, I would stay up for as long as I can and just ask God to come on you. And as he comes on you, just... Just be a good receiver, okay? This isn't magic. This is part of receiving the king, right? And the word of the king for what he's creating in, in the room, right? So God spoke things into creation, right? He still speaks healing. Jesus spoke. When he spoke, things moved. Lazarus, come forth. I like that. He spoke, gave him his name, come forth. And to everybody's astonishment, out comes Lazarus, right? Lord, create now, in Jesus' name. A couple other things. You got some things? I'm going to give a couple other ones, and then I'll let you give a couple, and anybody else that has a, a word that you think my God might be doing. I kept seeing um, somebody's left ear, and like there's a, an infection of some kind or whatever it is. And that's you? Okay. Well, I think tonight's your night then. There might be some others as well. And if you have enough faith, you might want to do, if you're the right ear, that's okay too. I think God's okay with that. But the left ear, sometimes when you have something specific like that, it's like a marker to help your faith. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may you heal every problem in the inner ear, Lord, the left ear especially tonight in Jesus' mighty name. May your grace be on us. Heal, Lord. And I like what you're doing now, everybody. Just stay in this space, okay? Don't wander around. Just keep your attention to the Lord, like if the Lord was just standing right over there. I don't think anybody would move, right? But we would also want to say, remember me, <laughs> right, if he was standing right there. So you can do that in your spirit. But let's just ask God to keep a sense of, of his continuity, his loveliness. And uh, I also um, was wondering about um, a couple of knee injuries, especially on the left side. So if you have left there, right there and on the front here. Well, we got more than that. Maybe two. Left knee. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So when I speak this word, I want you just to concentrate on heaven. Don't concentrate on me. Just, just do it now. And then think of yourself as just sticking your left knee in the soaking tub of God's grace. <laughs> You're just stepping into this. And then just let him soak your knee for a moment, okay? In the name of Jesus, every left knee be healed. And if you're a right knee person and it's in pain, I think he doesn't mind you standing one bit. The left knee helps our faith, especially if it's something we've been struggling with a while. So stick your leg there. Now don't, don't get antsy. Just hold your hands to heaven. Just be a good receiver. Now fire God. Just go in that knee. When you see people standing and responding to this, you might help them. I just put your hand on their shoulder so we can become a big prayer meeting, okay? She has said, my house will be a house of prayer. So if half the house is asleep and the other half is praying, we're not going to get very far. So much more in numbers. So just 
Say, oh Lord, whoever has a left knee, just heal them. And if that's somebody that was near you, just put your hand on their shoulder or, or ask permission to touch their knee if that's uh, one of the issues, okay? Tricia? Um, recently, we've had some interesting things happening in our church. There's been accidents and sickness. And I was sitting with the Lord. He took me up above the United States, and I was looking down. And it narrowed and narrowed and narrowed until we were in Southern California. And then I looked at this church. This church was covered with angels every single inch. There is not one space or, or kink in it. They were just surrounding all of it. And so, Lord, right now I ask if there's any fear in this church that you would release your peace Jesus, you're the Prince of Peace. Come with peace now and let us know that you are the creator of the universe, that you created the dark angel, and that you know how to handle all of this. And you said, fear not, I am with you. Do not be afraid, I am your God. I will help you and I'll strengthen you and I'll uphold you. And the Lord's also right now releasing the spirit of peace and joy. And he gave me this scripture. If you have a situation in your life, I do, where you don't feel peace in that area, Jesus said that scripture to me, said, Re say this to them, come to me when you're weary and burdened. I will give you rest. Take my yoke on you and learn from me. He said, I'm humble, I'm humble and contrite of heart. You'll find rest for your soul. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. So Jesus, I ask that you would walk through the aisles right now, and including me and, and, and maybe Mike and Janice, that you would come and you would do that. We take your yoke. Come and fill us with your beautiful peace. Release safety. We're safe, you guys. We have the creator of the universe in and around us. Really safety. We don't have to be afraid of the enemy. We don't have to be afraid of anything. The Lord is in us and around us. I also saw a beautiful river when the worship guy was the, um, the guy on the keyboards, um, jo Joxum. A huge river was being released by the worship of healing. That's what Mike felt. There, the worship is releasing healing in this church. So those of you that want to grab this with faith, there's an unusual gift of healing in this room right now. Um, so I have three short words. Do you have time, Mike, for me to? All right. The first one, um, this is called a word of knowledge because I, I have a short word, but the Lord wants to zero it in. So it's a word from the Lord, but in order for you to know it's about you, it'll have a word of knowledge or two. So this has three words of knowledge attached. Number one, you're a woman. So that cuts out half the people maybe or third. Number two, you love the color green. So if there's any woman in here that loves color green and you love daisies, would you stand? Is there anyone that loves daisies and love you? Stand up. Okay, that's unusual to me, green and daisies. I know a lot of women like red and blue. and So um, there's something going on in some area of your life, and the Lord said, I'm going to take care of it. Whatever that is right now, the Lord says, the creator of all things that stands outside of time, is saying to you, he listed you as someone that likes green daisies and a woman, he's zeroing in on you and he's saying, I am going to take care of it. You have the creator of the universe partnering with you. Can we extend our hands to these women right now? So Father God, you pick them. You gave words of knowledge to zero it down instead of just every woman stand up. Lord, right now, go into their thoughts to their brain, to their mind, to their emotions, and go deep, release faith, let them take your faith, and they know what that situation is, you are taking care of it. That which is impossible to man is possible with you. Come Holy Spirit, be the great counselor for these women. I think there's four of you. Yeah. In Jesus' name.
And then um, there's a man in here, you're a businessman, and there is something that is blocked in your business. I don't know if there's a man that, that if you feel like that's you, there's a block. And the Lord says that he is going to open the heavens and he wants to pour down abundance on you. And I saw him, I saw it more like a vision where he was tinkering or altering something very detailed to do with your business to alter it so that he could open the heavens and release that. Is there a man in here that, that feels to you like it fits? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Lord, bless, bless, bless you, bless you. Release that abundance, Lord, right now, tinker with whatever the block is. And in the name of Jesus, we open the heavens and we release the abundance on your son that he will have impact worldwide in this thing you've called him to do that you're going to raise him up to have a worldwide impact and you're opening the storehouse in heaven and you're opening the heavens and releasing a authority and money and power and healing and you're going to have a lot of impact on a lot of people jesus name and then last michael it's the last one um i teach prophetic classes here and one of the things I teach people is do not say anything about marriage. <laughs> Be very careful about marriage. And the Lord gave me a word about marriage. So um, uh, come Holy Spirit. So this is the diplomatic way that I'm going to say it. Um, I saw him taking men and women that were single and he's putting them together and i've noticed this with the oh i feel the spirit right now i've noticed this with the lord that it's seasons i don't know if you guys noticed with the spirit there'll be seasons where all these people are put together and married another season is coming, coming up where i just saw him taking this man and this woman and putting them together so that they could be married and he's picking them now so lord we receive this new move of the spirit of putting people together to walk through life together that they won't have to walk alone. And so we agree with you on this. We release this. We pull this down from heaven into this realm that every person in this season that you want to be married, you get the guy and you get the girl and you put them together in Jesus' name. I hope that was it. <laughs> And that's really, really good. I think there's a lot of people who love to be married. I just think we should just stay on that one for a moment. Lord, in the live stream and here, if you want to be married, may the Lord bless you. Didn't we? Who's had that happen recently where you, you married someone? Um, I was noticing a couple up here in the front just a minute ago I was praying for. Where are they? I can't see them. But it's, it's amazing how God brought them together just recently. I've been noticing little things happen like that around the church. Lord, do it again. Do it again. Oh, over there. Oh, it's coming up. But the Lord put you together. S stand up. Stand up, you two. So hold your, hold her hand. You're getting married in four weeks, right? So did you meet here? Did you meet here? Or you met 13 years ago at a house church. And you're just now getting around to getting married. Okay. Lord bless you. Now, Lord, however you did that, do that over here, over here, over here in the live stream. I don't suppose anybody wants that to happen to them, but just in case there might be one or two. No, if you genuinely would like that to happen to you, raise your hand. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I just summon, summon marriage partners. You said you give us the desires of our heart. I think it's safe to say that there's some desires of the heart being expressed here. So I agree with your heart in Jesus. Just thank you, God. Just do that. And this has been a wonderful union. I've been watching this. And you can just tell the Lord brought that together. Lord, just do that. It's such a wonderful thing in Jesus' name. I don't care who you are. I don't care how long you've been looking. I don't care if you're male, female, old, young. Lord, in the name of Jesus, if it's in your heart to see this happen, may the Lord cause it to happen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. 
I want to transition a little bit. I'm going to, uh, I don't know if I'm in the live stream or out of the live stream. I think I'm still in the live stream, but whether I'm not or not, whatever. A after this, definitely take me out of the live stream. <laughs> but uh, but I, I wanted to make a, a mention to all of us here, and then, of course, I do it on Sunday morning, and um, uh, sometimes I think we miss it on Monday night, so I wanted to make sure I mentioned this, that um, we have the most amazing equipping classes to let you help you walk in the things of the Spirit, also shore up certain areas of your life uh, that are maybe you need some help in, right? Uh, need some equipping in is a better word, right? So in our Wednesday night classes, uh, many of you uh, maybe have visited our, venue class, uh, our Wednesday night classes before, but Wednesday night classes. So we do it in like groups of 13 weeks at a time. Or t I think it's 13, 12 or 13 at a time. And so we're in our spring trimester. We're about three or four weeks in. And so there's four classes that I encourage you uh, to come. What you do is you come for worship like this at about 6. And then at 6.30, uh, we start the classes. And uh, one of them is located in here, my class called Life in the Spirit, which we talk about all kinds of things involved with the Spirit. Some of my favorite subjects we haven't got to yet even. Uh, but we do that. And then Dream Interpretation, which is really a cool class, by the way. I mean, I tell you, when you start thinking about your dreams and remembering them and then understanding that those things you've been having as dreams, actually, it's God trying to talk to you sometimes. It's really a marvelous thing. And um, when you learn the language of the Holy Spirit, it really helps, you know. You know, what's a truck in my dream, for example? Or, you know, what's this? What's that? Sometimes that the dream have a common vocabulary, depending on the context of, of God trying to get through. I don't know why he does that. You see it in the Bible. It's good enough for me, right? Third thing that's been really uh, uh, fruitful this year is a single parent community uh, taught by Devin, Vaughn, Catherine, and Peter. And uh, just talking about single parenting and uh, becoming a community that way to encourage one another. And the fourth thing is Freedom Encounter. So this is taught by Chino Stanley. We're looking for freedom in our personal lives that we find we often find many issues that keep us from being free and without limitations. The good news is that on the cross, Jesus paid the penalty for our sin. And so this freedom thing is interesting because sometimes we get hampered by demonic things. Sometimes it's idols of our own making, strongholds of stinky thinking. And sometimes it's only broken with another person to help us. Maybe the revelation of what we're dealing with first and then another person to help us through. So it's a whole classes we found very, very fruitful, and whole classes going through this at the same time. Uh, we, we do deliverance individually as well, but when the class is doing it, it's sort of interesting how the dynamic works out and how we see people uh, really get free of a lot of things that maybe they didn't realize were of spiritual origin or didn't realize they were doing that were causing demonic things to actually get stronger. All right, so this is every Wednesday night. Now, I think we're in week four or something of our time. And um, so I know it's a little early, so even if you can't get here by 6.30, we'll direct you real quick uh, to where you go. And um, I think we have these in the seats tonight, right, uh, all of these things. So you can just grab one of these. Um, on Wednesday night, it would be one of these uh, things. But the beautiful thing about Wednesday night is for you who have kids, we have kids uh, all the way up from little ones all the way through our youth groups, all the way to high school have something for them. So they, they have a blast. They really have a blast here. All right? And the other thing is um, we've been a little hampered lately because Brent got hit so hard with regard to the sickness and stuff. He's coming out of it, but our, our other counselors and people are beginning to rally. And so we have founded here at the church a Mercy Transformation Center, which is basically a place where you can get physical healing, heart healing, counseling, uh, recovery, uh, uh, coaching of some kind of life issue, and deliverance, just raw deliverance. And I, I love uh, to see people set free, and sometimes people kind of have a specialty in that area, and they do really well. And we have other kinds of uh, other people doing these things, but these are some of them. And um, what we did was we were establishing a Mercy Transformation Center, which will be a basic where you check in and and uh, there'll be an uh, outside area, and then you'll go to a room, and they'll pray for you. But that's not, that 
that quite, isn't quite in um, motion. We have the rooms and everything, but we're not quite officially operating that way. But you can communicate here this way online, and somebody will get back with you, and we will refer. And I was thinking also um, about healing, and uh, I don't think I have this on here. Oh, yes. Um, every Wednesday from 12 to 2 p.m., we pray for the sick. So I don't know if you knew that or not, but every Wednesday from 12 to 2 p.m. And it's in the corner there, right? It's on the chapel. It's called the chapel. You'll see that right there. So show up at 12 o'clock. You don't have to, you know, announce in advance. Just show up, whatever ailing you. People will pray for you. The thing I like about this so much is that these people are praying all the time, all the time. Every Wednesday, they're there, which there's sort of an anointing that's developed over that. If you do that that much, it's like uh, you, you, you pick up something. And uh, these people are so faithful, and uh, I was thinking to myself, I was in need of healing, and I, I can't believe I didn't visit that room. I often do, and I'm not feeling well. I just go in there and sit with them and let them pray over me. It's very powerful. And uh, I think if you do something long enough, sometimes you, you pick up, I say anointing, I mean you pick up an ability. Uh, Spirit works with you, and you've been good and faithful with a little thing, and then God gives you more, right? And uh, as a prayer, right, as a prayer. So I wanted you to know, I know a number of you come from outside areas and other places uh, to, on Monday night, but we have all kinds of resources anytime for very specific things. And these are on these sheets, and they're in your seats there, and I want you to know that, right? And, uh, and of course, the classes that we have, uh, I mentioned my life in the spirit class, which is kind of an introductory class to learning to throw, flow in the spirit, dream interpretation, and single parent community. All three of those are being offered, and Freedom Encounter, taught by Bishno, which is basically a group deliverance class, <laughs> getting free of things, right? And uh, Andrew over there also has some ability in this particular area with regard to deliverance. And uh, his, if you want to talk to him afterward in his home group, this whole home group is sort of has a very powerful anointing in this area, right? Yes, uh, I don't know if you noticed it, but there are real live devils and demons out looking for someone to devour, right? So um, I'd like to, I have no idea if I'm the live stream or not, but if I am, you could turn it off now. <laughs> so I think I just saw a light go out, okay? Man, things are